wonderful good day ladies and gentlemen Mainz and Money London 2016 Commodity TV is here for the first time with our own studio and we are really happy that we have our first interview partner here on a uh, yeah, Tuesday morning it's Don Baxter the president and CEO of Alabama Graphite Don good morning good morning it's, it's a <laughs> pleasure to be here again. yeah thank you pleasure to have you here thank you. so it's fair started how do you like the fair it's nice. Uh, it's good. We actually were here yesterday. We spoke at a battery materials uh, session, and uh, it was quite well attended. So Super. so far, so good. Looks very good. Perfect. Perfect. Let's dive into your terrific company. I remember Indeed. we did the exact the same interview like one year ago. Yes. So you just uh, joined Alabama Graphite, uh, I think. I've been, I was not sure. I've been, no, I've been about six months with Alabama. Okay. At the sorry. Time. Sorry. Yes. Was, was still with the old company, yeah. and um, yeah, what happened and in well, those six we, months? Uh, we had just at that time we had just announced our PEA. Yeah. And we showed the results of that. We had a 52% uh, rate of return on the mm -hmm. investment, uh, NPV of 444 million, uh, small capex less than 45 million, mm -hmm. and uh, we since have then have we announced our uh, battery ready graphite results. We, we made uh, one of the first things I did when I joined the company was make the actual battery ready graphite. That is the main. I, I think focus. that's the main. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, we're not. We're not a. We're not going to sell graphite. We're going to sell the secondary process graphite. There's. There's. We don't see the need for selling graphite. There's lots of graphite in the world. The world doesn't need more graphite. What it needs is battery-ready graphite. Mm -hmm. Right now, 100% uh, of the natural battery-ready graphite comes from China with oh. unsustainable production methods. Mm -hmm. uh, Western companies really can't ethically use the material. Mm -hmm. So we're showing that we can, we can make a very good performing natural product, uh, cost competitive, and we're located in the United States. Mm -hmm. oh, so, that's even more important. So an, an, another yeah. key factor of our, of our business plan uh, is evolved to be um, sourced and manufactured in the United States. Mm -hmm. So we, we've been getting a lot of phone calls from Department of Defense contractors, people, uh, companies making the next generation lithium ion batteries for the US military. Yeah, I'm sure Tesla called you also, right? Uh, Maybe. Wouldn't, wouldn't be allowed to talk about that, <laughs> but uh, uh, say I think I think we're very much on, on radar for, for many companies now, simply because of our I mean our location is fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, you can't beat that from a, from a climate standpoint, mm -hmm. just from a geopolitical stability standpoint, uh, and secondly, we've shown our technical wherewithal. We we can actually make the materials, so mm -hmm. we're not just out there to talking about battery materials. We've actually made it. Uh, that, that, made the that's, battery. That, yeah, exactly. That's the point. You really made with your material, with your end product. Yes. You put into a battery and yes. it works. Exactly. We made about 60 batteries, in yeah. fact. Yeah. And it works very well. Uh, natural graphite will work better than synthetic. Uh, just Why some, is that? Some, some of the physical characteristics. Mm -hmm. um, the natural graphite is not porous. Synthetic graphite is, mm -hmm. and that porosity will will eventually lead to the um, degradation of the capacity of the battery. With a natural graphite, you don't see that happening because you don't have the little nooks and crannies within the material mm -hmm. to let build up of lithium carbonate, whatever that's going to actually build up and start to slowly degrade the battery. Mm -hmm. So with natural graphite, it just doesn't happen. Yeah, does this also mean, for example, that you have a longer life with the battery, yes, that you indeed, have yes. more loading cycles and exactly. stuff? Exactly, cycle right? so You'll see the cycling uh, start to, the capacity start to drop off with, with synthetic graphite uh, and it takes a lot longer for it to drop off with natural graphite. Mm -hmm. When you say you built 60 batteries, was this for cars, was this uh, for no. mobile phones? What, no, what, actually for, what, more what, for mobile. What, what there, there's it? more button cells, uh, CR2016 batteries, so mm -hmm. you see like little disc batteries you see um, uh, in your watch or, or, or cameras or phones, so okay. that's a typical uh, test procedure. Uh, we've made bigger ones as well, but we did the initial testing with the button cell. Mm -hmm. But it would work, of course, also in a e-car, Oh, right? absolutely, absolutely. So, so the, 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 uh, the battery will work the same chemistry, yeah. uh, just a different size. And uh, yeah, for a company like, uh, like, like, a, like a Tesla who are using the, uh, they look like AA batteries, but they're, uh, they're um, uh, within the, the type of battery they are, but they're, they look, look like a AA battery. Uh, mm -hmm. And so the same, same battery chemistry. So we've shown uh, vac the reversal capacity, mm -hmm. we've shown a very efficient battery, a 95% efficient battery, yeah. uh, which is, is, is still uh, about one, one to 2% better than synthetic. Mm -hmm. So from that standpoint, uh, we're showing that we can actually make a very good battery, uh, we can make it in the United States, we can source the graphite in the United States, mm -hmm. and we can do it very cost effectively. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. So that sounds to me you are a Trump stock. <laughs> Make America great again. Exactly. Yeah, that's the, and you know, it's uh, we're seeing it so far from the results of the election, uh, the United States. We think it's very good for yeah. us. Yeah. Um, again, we're we're looking to create American jobs. 
uh, as opposed to Chinese jobs. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're doing it in the state of Alabama, which has been very successful at attracting very good industry into, into Alabama. Mercedes has a plant there, mm -hmm. uh, Boeing does, Airbus, mm -hmm. uh, BMW is BMWs there, like? in the area yeah. as well too. So uh, it's actually an aerospace hub in Huntsville, Alabama. Mm -hmm. So all of those companies will use our product. Mm -hmm. so, so will you get also support from the state of Alabama? Uh, we're seeing, we're, we're, we're receiving a lot of, lot of support, um, mm -hmm. a lot of um, ways that the, the state is looking at a, a great, how, how do they enhance uh, our project and not just not just to create jobs in our in our, our own project but how do we attract other businesses to Alabama based around mm -hmm. our business yeah so and how do they introduce us to say Mercedes and, and get within their own within their own customer base or, mm -hmm. or, or, or um, industry base mm -hmm. so very supportive uh, we're quite pleased with that mm -hmm. great um, as you said you are yeah let's say the real battery graphite yes company, indeed. Yeah? yes so let's put it that way maybe the others work for the pencil industry <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit no. too hard no, 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 no. No, but the point yeah. is, what I want to make is um, the major difference is uh, that you do graphite for batteries. What is the supply demand situation? Because you said yeah. you have synthetic graphite yes. and you have natural graphite. Yes, indeed. So, what would be from the, your market perspective? Because you want to go in production for sure. Yeah? Yes, indeed. Yes. Um, what is your market perspective and perception now? And what is your for your projection for the future? Well, first of all, we decided to start small. Uh, mm -hmm. Some of our competitors looking to just make graphite are starting to make anywhere from 20,000 tons a year to 300,000 tons a year. So mm -hmm. the current world market for flake graphite is only 375,000 tons per mm -hmm. year. Uh, with that, of that, about 80, 000, actually 50,000 tons of natural graphite goes into the battery market right now. So the lithium ion battery market consumes about 80,000 tons mm -hmm. of, of, of graphite. Mm -hmm. uh, about 50,000 of that is, is natural, the rest is synthetic. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's increased from about two years ago, where that number was 50,000 tons with about 35,000 tons being natural. So natural is starting to overtake synthetic. Now mm -hmm. China is still actually, so 100% of the natural graphite in batteries that comes from China. Uh, they use hydrofluoric acid to purify their, their graphite. Uh, they do it cheap because they don't necessarily treat the byproducts well. Um, and then about 46% of synthetic graphite comes from China as well. And synthetic graphite is produced from petroleum coke which is a byproduct from refining oil, and then it's put into a furnace for about 11 weeks at 2,600 degrees Celsius. So very energy intensive, oh, very expensive. That's not really green. You no, know, exactly, not at all. No, it's kind of <laughs> counterintuitive to the, you know, to the yeah. Teslas of the world who are making these nice green automobiles. So, yeah. And the same with the natural graphite uh, coming from China. It's, you can't have dirty input materials. So, no. we're, but we're seeing a market where within, but between now and 2020, the battery market alone needs about 400,000 tons of graphite. So Ooh, it's growing. That's a lot. Uh, if you look at the Gigafactory, for example, we calculate that they would, at full production, they would need about 50,000 tons just themselves. So, uh, and we're also seeing that that amount of graphite produced in, in, in China will be consumed more so in China. Mm -hmm. uh, for every battery plant built in the West, there's probably 10 or more built in China. Mm -hmm. So we're going to see it be probably more difficult to get. And I think prices will start to go up as well, but we're showing uh, some very good margins right now with what the um, current price is, is for, for, the, for the coated spherical graphite. Mm -hmm. can, can you give us maybe and uh, our viewers an orientation about the future possible margin? I know you did the okay, PA, yes, it's yep. not the feasibility, that's yes. for sure, yeah? Indeed, but yes. are we talking, for example, you produce for 2,000, you can sell it for 6,000? Yeah, Just well, an idea. In Indeed. So right now, our, our, our PEA price is, is yeah. uh, cost is fifteen fifty five per ton. Mm -hmm. So fifteen hundred and fifty five dollars per ton. Our average selling price is is seventy two hundred dollars a ton. So the actual wow. coated spherical graphite sells for between eight to twelve thousand dollars a ton. Mm -hmm. Uh, and we'll have some product that doesn't quite meet spec, and that will sell for 2000 So hence, our average selling price is about $7,200 per ton. So mm. a pretty, still a pretty decent that's margin. That's a lovely margin. That's almost yeah, $5,800 exactly. of margin. Wow, that's, that's yeah. pretty, really yeah. a lot. Um, tell us, what are the three major differences which distinguish your company from the rest of the graphite world? Uh, I think th the main thing is is that uh, everybody else who has a PEA or a feasibility study done right now have, has based that on selling graphite, large, medium, fine flake mm -hmm. graphite. Uh, we don't think that's economic. At current prices of flake graphite, uh, they've fallen off considerably. Uh, we think we, we, we basically st skip that step, not sell graphite, mm -hmm. and, and, and not have to worry about that minimal margin, if, if at all. Uh, we, in, fa in fact, some cases we think the prices they're using in those models are, are again, uh, will show no profit at all. So that, mm -hmm. that differentiates us. We, we have a, I think, uh, the most 
the only business model in the space that works to show the secondary capex and opex of making the coated spherical graphite for batteries. And quite frankly, that's what the market wants. Mm -hmm. So in that case, um, that differentiates us. I think we have the only, only model that works. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and secondly, we have expertise. Yep. Uh, I was chief engineer at one of two graphite mines that got up and running in Canada in the early 1990s. Uh, and as my two of my fellow board members, our chairman and, and, our, and our director, uh, were at the one in Quebec. So we have internal expertise as well. Mm -hmm. So um, it's not rocket science what we're doing, but you have to have experience to know to really know what you're doing to yeah. optimize. But I think you also have an infrastructure advantage, right? We do well. In fact, in in, in uh, for the other jurisdictions I've worked in, I'm usually dealing with frozen tundra. Uh, but yeah. uh, in Alabama, it's it's perfect. We're 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 half an hour to the closest town. Uh, we're uh, again half an hour, for, which is is um, uh, Montgomery, which is a rail hub. We're three hours from the Port of Mobile, so that opens up Europe for us. Mm -hmm. uh, and we literally drove flatbed trucks into the middle of, the, of our property to take out our bulk sample, to drive it up to Lakefield where we did our, our bulk sample, or our pilot plant. Yeah. So uh, again, easily accessible, uh, temperate climate, and uh, so year round, uh, um, and also the geology we're dealing with is, is a weathered, uh, weathered oxidized geology. So mm -hmm. uh, it's a diggable deposit. There's no drilling and blasting, yeah. so yeah. no yeah. crushing and grinding. So lower cost. Yeah. Again, so it's, it's, it's a similar to a, one of these African deposits we're yeah. hearing about, but it's, it's in a geopolitically stable easy area. Easy to mine, easy to process. Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. Fantastic. Yes. Last question. Sure. 2017, what do you want to do? Major steps to advance the company, and when do you think you might be in production? Uh, well, the key thing is, is to uh, begin the commence the of feasibility. Course you need the money yeah, first. Indeed, money, money in hand. Uh, commence our feasibility yeah. study. We've already outlined uh, what we're going to do there. Mm -hmm. uh, that that will include a secondary pilot plant for our secondary process, mm -hmm. which is the purification, sizing, and shaping, and coating of the graphite. And then uh, that will also, also uh, increase our production capabilities for our coated spherical graphite, which we have been putting out samples to you know, more and more customers, or potential customers, uh, be it uh, Department of Defense contractors or uh, other companies that aren't, are still making the batteries, but uh, um, not uh, necessarily working for the DOD, but still looking at that advantage of, of, mm -hmm. of price, technology, and know-how as well from us. Mm -hmm. And for the financing, you think maybe an offtake is possible, project finance? Uh, I think all, all, all options are open, uh, but we, and we're seeing a lot of support from uh, from you know within the United States. We're seeing some uh, some interest growing in what we're doing. So I think uh, again with with the um, with the strategic advantage we have, I think a lot of people are starting to notice that. Mm -hmm. So perfect, super. Then that's a big year ahead of uh, you guys. Absolutely, indeed. I would yes. say it was a good last year. Was a good year, and, and yeah. uh, it's been a busy time. And, and we're just definitely heading on to more busy times. So 2016, you prepared the groundwork, the base work, and 2017 is execution. We, we hit the ground running, indeed. Super. Yes, I like that. <laughs> All the best for that. Thanks Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Thank Christmas. you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks, Don. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that was Don Baxter, the CEO of Alabama Graphite. And yeah, you heard it. 2016 was yeah the base work, the groundbreaking. 2017 is execution time, and. Uh, the company yeah, is uh, getting hot. It's uh, graphite, but it's battery graphite. That's the most important, um, um, yeah, how can I say that, advantage, of course, of the company because all the others work, uh, let's say, for the pencil industry. But uh, <laughs> graphite is even used in lithium batteries. The e-mobility is growing. E-mobility is the future. And besides lithium, we need the graphite. This will be an American graphite producer. It will be, yeah, finally a Trump stock if you want to play it like this. <laughs> And uh, yeah, we will see what happens next year. Check out the company. Thanks for watching us. Bye-bye from London.